the YouTubers back again here. A little, bit, a little bit more work on the fire pit. Made a little extension. I went from the middle three, tree over to there. I'm not going to close that up and just uh, keep it open for hanging things there. Still a place for sitting there. I lashed these sticks together with pieces of inner tube because those trees are live and the height of them is a bit long so the wind is causing them to move so I tied that one and this one over here is floating it's movable so the trees moves I don't know I just cut these strips out of inner tube If you tie a rope around a large tree, you probably cut in and might kill the tree, which, you know, that happens. Sticks that I got cut here, some of them is dead, some more I just brought it from where I'm cutting my firewood to. I got a kittle stick made. I'll use this for different levels, whatever. I'll put a little break there, wind break. Then back here. We got this one put up here. I'll put a just a few bows it over that. Mainly just to keep the snow off the seat here for when I comes in. Hopefully guys now the next time I uh, comes back in here I'll get a fire going and have a little cook up. So he's lying the way. back again. A couple days ago I came in and got some bows and the was cut over and uh, brought them out here. Fill that in there. What was here was a bit of wind coming down through so I got a few sticks there, dry sticks and placed them between those trees. Worked out good. Just lies in there. He tumbles over in the spring. No problem, there's nothing fastened, so that's good. Everything here is frozen solid. We had a heavy rain downpour on Friday, plus five. Friday night it turned off to really cold and windy. We had a hundred kilometers of wind with the cold. We're just in a like an ice palace or whatever. And then this morning when I got up was the morning 21. So I put a little shelter there. 
because when I was here the wind was drifting down through. I uh, spoke to you earlier about a little pan that I wax around. The pan is just back there and the wind is coming in through the tree. So I just cut off some dead trees that was there and just laced them, not laced them, poked them back and forth through. A couple small green ones there. I'll get some more boughs now and uh, block that off there. And I may do the same thing right here. Now I got a mess around here because I'm trying to clean, clean out the the dead stuff. Like this here, the small growth is dead. I'm just beating it down. So I got the fire in now and the when I get her going, had trouble again with the fire. Everything is so wet and damp. So I'll uh, get her cleaned up here a bit and uh, hopefully then I'll be able to have a calf here or so next day or so, next time it comes in probably. I'm going to leave a, a kettle here on the stick. Old folks here are always used to uh, when they go to the rabbit slips or whatever. If they had a boil-up place that they used to start to, they always leave the kettle over the kettle stick. They always put dry wood there so that if anyone came along, came across their uh, boil-up place, they wouldn't have to go searching for wood. In case they happen to get in the water or whatever, or got coal, <coughs> it will always birch rye and dry wood placed around. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Some wiser people here from the community, they walk in along this trail. We all use the same trail for snowshoe walking. I already told them that I'm doing this, so they'll come in and. Uh, I'll have a, a kettle there. All I had to do is bring a bit of water in their tea or coffee. And they'll, they'll have a little boil up. Yep, I gotta fasten them plates on for the seat. Ah, she's coming along. Come on, guys. Talk to you later.